Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use match expressions in Scala. So in Scala, match expressions can be used to select between a list of alternative just like if or multiple if conditions. So let's see how we can use it. So for example, I declare a variable called age, for example, and then let's say age is uh, 18. And then we can uh, just use match statement. Let me show you first of all how we can use it. So you can uh, give the argument name first of all. So age is the argument name. And then the keyword match. And then you give these curly brackets. So just give these curly brackets. And then you give case keyword and then what is the case so for example the value of uh, age is equal to 20 so you write this 20 and then you use this kind of uh, rocket symbol and then for example whatever you want to do so, so for example you want to print the age you can just write uh, print line and then the value of age for example if you want to print it okay so just write age here so in this way you can uh, give multiple cases if you are aware of uh, some other languages uh, select may look like these match expressions right so for example 18 i will write here and then i will write uh, 30 40 and 50 for example okay and let's save the code and let's run it and because the value of age is 18 it's going to print 18 right if the value of age will be 20 it's going to print 20 so in match statement we uh, just pass our argument first of all and then use a keyword and then whatever case this uh, variable fulfills that statement will be executed now you may say that for example i will write 100 here which doesn't match any condition. So what will happen then? So let's run the code and you can see it will give us this kind of uh, error, right? So to catch the default condition, uh, what we can do here is we can just, just write, uh, for example, here underscore symbol, which means the default case, okay? So underscore means the default case, which means uh, the, variable value doesn't match any case right so we can just write uh, default here okay and then let's run the code once again and it prints default the same you can do with the strings also so let's initialize uh, this age as string let's say it's a string value so i'm going to initialize it as a string and then here also i will just enclose these numbers as string so by double quotes right so and then let me run the code and it's going to print default and let's say the value of age is 50 here and then once again when i run the code it's going to print 50 okay so the case you can use uh, to evaluate any number or expressions or multiple numbers or multiple uh, strings now let's see how we can use uh, this match statement as for example an expression so i'm going to just copy the match case once again and paste it here and then i will just declare uh, for example well result variable here is equal to so we want to return from the match right so we can directly uh, return this age from here so instead of uh, print line i can just write age which is going to return the value of age whenever this case is fulfilled right so if the value of age will be 20 so the age value 20 will be returned and it will be saved inside this result variable right so let me just do the same for the other and for the default case we are going to return default let's say okay so once we have the result we can just uh, print the result by print line for example result okay and let's run the code once again and it's going to print result is equal to 50 right so in this way you can use uh, match expression as an expression so this is how you can use match as statement 
and this is how you can use match as expression now let's say we want to uh, evaluate multiple cases and we want to print the same result for multiple cases how we can do it and let's say if there is a variable i and we will use uh, match keyword and then these curly bracket and then we uh, will evaluate for example let's say uh, odd and even number between 1 to 10 right so let's say case 1 is for the odd number so 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9 so if these numbers are given then it's an odd value so I can just write uh, print line odd okay in the same way when the case is for the even numbers so case let's say 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 or 10 then we will just print line even here and let's declare variable i so val i is equal to let's say 7 right and let's uh, run the code and it's going to print odd number because it falls in this condition so value of i is one of these numbers then the print line will be odd otherwise it will print even if uh, the value is even for example 6 is going to print uh, even here so it prints even here right so this is how also you can use uh, match expressions so that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now